Alright, here we go, guys. So, um, Marcus, here we go. Uh, I understand that this is uh, challenging. Yeah. What we're trying to do, the problems where we're using the quadratic <coughs> equation to uh, quadratic formula to solve them. Uh, I'm sure that that means that you'll pay extra special better attention because it's so difficult. So you know you have to work extra hard to uh, understand it. So where do you want me to start? Very first one? Yeah. Very first one. Go. Was it seven? Yeah. All right, so for number seven, we're starting with 2x squared plus 5x plus 3 equals 0. Hey, hey, hey. That's not paying extra special attention. That's talking to your classmates. Alright, uh, I don't care what it is. What's A? Two. Two? What's B? Five. And what's C? Three. Three. Okay, so the quadratic formula is the opposite of B. Negative five. Negative five. Negative five. Plus or minus the square root of what is B squared? Twenty-five. Minus four times A, which is? Two times C, three. which is three. three, all over two times A, which is four. four. Okay, so that first step, we're really not doing any math. We're just plugging in the numbers into the uh, formula that you have written down. So that part you should all be able to do. And as Reed said, it's going to take you about a half a page to do each problem. That's why I only gave you a few of them to work on. Okay. Um, there's a lot of uh, computations to be done here. Okay, next thing that you can do is figure out all the stuff underneath the square roots. And those of you with calculators can just enter that into your calculator exactly as it is written. 25 minus 4 times 2 times 3. And if you do that correctly, you should get 1 as an answer. Okay? And you guys should not just be writing down, copying down what I'm doing right now. You should have your calculators out and doing it along with me so you can make sure that you're able to do these steps on your own when the time comes. Yeah? Could you still a little closer to the board, please? And this is all over four. Okay? Got that? Grandma Pettis? I four, right? First thing you go is your vision. Okay. Did you apply for Social Security yet? <laughs> Alright. So now once you've figured out what everything underneath the square root is, you just take the square root of that number. So what is the square root of 1? 1. So I'm going to change it from minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 1 to minus 5 plus or minus 1. And that's still over 4. Is that big enough? Okay. Jolina? Our number is 9. Not just. I think you guys go for it. Okay. It's negative 41 for B. Uh-huh. On here it says that the B has to be negative whether it's negative positive. Correct. Good call. All right. And then from here, this is where we get our two different answers. If I go negative 5 plus 1, what do I get? Negative 4, and that's still over 4. If I go negative 5 minus 1, what do I get? Negative 6, which is still over 4. And then all you have to do is just reduce those uh, two fractions. Negative 4 over 4 reduces to negative 1. What goes into 6 and 4 evenly? 2. How many times does it go into 6? 3 times, so that's going to be negative 3. How many times does it go into 4? Two times, so my two answers are negative one and negative three halves. Or you could write that as negative one point five if you want. Okay? So it's just a step by step by step by step process. And it is a lot of work, I know, but it is an important uh, formula to be able to use. It comes up a lot of times. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, negative 1.5 and negative 1. Okay, thanks. Okay. Okay.
Okay yeah, that's fine. Either way is fine. All right, so same thing for number eight. Uh, Marcus, what's the opposite of B in this case? Thank you, Oscar. Negative 16 is correct because B was 16, and so the opposite of that is negative 16. Then I need to do underneath the square root B squared. So what's 16 squared? Like I said, you've got to have to calculate. Well, that's the square root. Uh, 256 minus 4, always 4, times A, which is 5, times C, which is negative 84. Bless you. And this is all over 2 times A, which is? No, what's 2 times A? What's A? Uh, 5. And so 2 times A is 10. Brianna? Did you say you didn't understand something? How do you get 16 then? Uh, because this is B right here. Yeah. And so I just take the opposite of that. So since yeah. this was positive, then this becomes negative. Okay. okay. Uh, 256, you mean? Oh, yeah. This thing's okay. squared. So the next part of the formula is plus or minus the square root of 16 squared. 256, were you here yesterday? No. Okay. Um, minus 4 times A times C. Okay, so you want to write this down in your notes. Correct. And that's why some teachers say instead of negative B, they say the opposite of B. And that's the formula. That's the formula. If there's a decimal, do you want us to round? Uh, yeah, maybe two decimal places. Yeah, but what if it's nine and eight? Mm -hmm. Because Lauren's the first. Yeah, Lauren's the first. Yeah, Lauren's the first. Yeah, Lauren's the first. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so let's finish this up. So the next step now, I just take and do the thing underneath the square root, just as it is written. So what is 256 minus 4 times 5 times negative uh, 84? It is 44. 44. 44. Okay, that's after you take the square root of it, but what's the big number before? 1,936. 1,936? Okay, and that's over 10. And then what Reed and Oscar are saying is the square root of 1,936 is 44. So I can change that to 44. I'm now done with the square root. And then now I do that uh, part from before that gives us the two answers. What's negative 16 plus 44? <coughs> Right, because negative 16 plus 44 is 28 divided by 10. Negative 16 minus 44 is negative 60 divided by 10. And so what Jolina said then is 28 divided by 10 is 2.8. And, and negative 6 is the other one. How did I get negative 60? How did I get negative 60? I went negative 16 minus 44. And since they're both negatives, I just add the numbers together, so I get uh, negative 6. I went negative 16 plus 44, and that got me to 28. And then I went negative 16 minus 44, and that got me to negative 6. And they're both over 10. So 28 divided by 10 is 2.8. Negative 60 divided by 10 is negative 6. Oh, I did, the, I did it wrong. I um, I divided the big number oh. and then square root. Oh, okay, no, square root it first. Okay? All right, so let's keep going. Next one, number nine. Okay, so I need to start out with uh, negative B or the opposite of B. And so, what? Negative 7, because B is positive 7, so the opposite of that is negative 7, plus or minus square root of 49, because 7 squared is 49, minus 4 times A, which is 4, times C, which is negative 15, and that's going to all be over 8. Okay, you doing all right with that? Okay, now I need to ask my calculator, what is 49 minus 4 times 4 times negative 15? I wish you did too. 
Good, 289. And that's still all over 8. Okay? So the first thing I need to do with this is square root it. So what's the square root of 289? 17. So this is going to be negative 7 plus or minus 17 over 8. And now I do the two things to find the two answers. What do I do first, Francis? Well, this, here's where the negative 7 was, right? Because that's the opposite of B from the very beginning. And then we figured out all this stuff yep. equals 289, and the square root of 289 is 7. Okay? So now I'm asking you, what's negative 7 plus 17? 10. Good. And that's going to be over 8. And then the other one is negative 7 minus 17, which is? Okay, negative 24. Over eight. Cheyenne, did you have a question? No, I was going to say. Okay, what's the answer? No, I was going to find Excellent. X equals 1.25 or negative 3 are our two answers. Good. Because 10 divided by 8 is 1.25 and negative 24 divided by 8 is negative 3. Okay? Brianna, is it? Getting in there at all? Okay, we'll keep slugging away then, all right? So you good. All right, number 10. Okay, so for number 10, they try to trick you. They can't trick us. No, we're too smart for that. Uh, what do I have to do first before I write? I need to add the 110 to both sides because this has to be set equal to zero before I can start figuring out what A and B and C are. Okay? I haven't done any of that yet. Okay? Yes? Yeah? Mr. White? Because it has to be equal to zero for us to do this formula. Okay, so if it's yep. I added 110 to both sides. So the negative 110 and the positive 110 cancel and give me zero. And then the positive 110 shows up over here. Okay? All right, so opposite of B is positive 41. So this is one of those that some of you are asking about. We started with negative 41, so we have to switch it around and make it positive 41. Plus or minus the square root of what? Nice, 1,681. Okay, so 41 squared is 1,681 minus 4 times 3 times 110. And that's all over 6. Okay? You're telling me that this in here is negative 13, 20? No, 4, 3, 1, 10, 6. Oh, that comes out to be negative 13, 20. Well, what's 1681 minus 13, 20? Don't got a calculator? Ain't got, ain't ain't got, got no calculator? You what do you do? When you subtract them? Yeah. 16, 81 minus 4 times 3 times 10. Is what? I don't think so. <coughs> because this, if I multiply this out, that's going to be about, yeah, this is going to be about 1,200. So I'm going to have a lot less than 1,000 when I subtract it. 361. 361? Okay. That's where I get to, and then I do it Okay, and then we have to figure out, We have to figure out what the square root of 361 is. Well, oh. What? Yeah. To figure out the square root of 361, uh, they mean 19. Uh, yeah. 19. Okay. Uh, Over uh, 6. Okay, so now I have to go 41 plus 19, which is? 41 plus 19 is? 60. And that's over 6. 41 minus 19 is? 
22, and that's also over 6. So 60 divided by 6 is our first answer, that's 10. 22 divided by 6 is our second answer, that's 3.6 repeating. I need the repeating on there, okay? Okay, number 11. Okay, hopefully you're going to hang it a little bit. Opposite of B. Chase, you got it? Good job, Chase. Oh, no, I grew up 44 instead of 45. Oh, no. Plus or minus the square root of 45 squared, which is 2025, minus 4 times A times C, all over 36. Okay. All right, so now it's Ask the Magic Calculator time. 2020, what? 5625. She's quick. Okay, then the uh, square root of 5625, everybody knows, is 75. Yes. Completely. Of course. What a silly question. Common knowledge, right? Square root of 4 is 2, square root of 9 is 3, square root of 5,625 is 75. Alright, 45 plus 75 is? 45 plus 75 is? 120. Divided by 36. 45 minus 75 is? Negative 30. Divided by 36. Somebody take it home. Is it 3.3 repeating? Yes. Where are we going? Take home. Your homework assignment. What's negative 30 divided by 36? Negative 0.83. We're not only on 3. No, your new assignment. Negative 0.83 repeating? Yeah. Yeah, what? Point eight three. I have a question. Yes. Where are we getting the thousand? The thousands, yeah. these numbers right here. Uh, it's this number squared. Oh. And then this one is when you take all this and put it together. If you go 2025 minus 4 times 18 times negative 50, you get this guy here. Okay? All right, let's try one more. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you can finish it. Down. What? So you're doing that 15 for place? No. Oh, yeah, you guys can do a couple of questions. Yeah. Okay, yep, yeah, you can do those on your own. Number 15. Same thing as the uh, one we did a couple problems ago. What do I have to do first? Right, subtract the 156 because I need it always to equal zero. So 5x squared minus 47x minus 156 equals zero is what we want to start with, not that thing right there. <coughs> All right, so B is negative 47. What's the opposite of that? Positive 47. Plus or minus the square root of? What's 47 squared? Oh, that's what I did. Oh, right. Nice. Wait a second. 2209. Oh, I did it right. Minus 4 <laughs> times 5 <laughs> times negative 156. And that's all over 10. Good, because 2 times 5 is 10. All right? So then if I do all the stuff underneath the square root, it's a 3120. Thank you. You just told me the answer was 3120. That's what I'm saying. 
Oh, I see. You haven't put that together with the. Gotcha. My bad. Five, three, two, nine. Okay. And then what's the square root of five, three, two, nine? Well, yeah, because this negative and this negative cancel out and make a plus. So, oh, dang it. Square root of 5329. 73. 73. And that's over 10. So 47 plus 73 is. What? 120. And 47 minus 73 is. I'll do the first part. Negative. We negative 26 over 10, which when we divide gives us, yeah, negative 2.6. So it's going to be 12 and negative 2.6. Okay? All right, so I know we didn't do all of them. There's three in there, but we spent some time going over this now. So, yes, I'm going to give you guys a couple minutes to finish that up.